How's it going, folks? So the band Etvas has a new song here called Blood Moon Invocation. They have a new album coming out May 16th, right around the corner. And I'm really excited because their debut album really kind of took me by surprise. I really enjoyed their symphonic metal with a, a little bit of a black metal influence in there. And I didn't get a chance to react to any of the songs from the debut album because... Uh, I listened to the album. That was the first I ever heard of them. So I'm excited now to be able to do a reaction to one of their songs from their upcoming new album. And without further ado, let's check out Blood Moon Invocation, shall we? Rangers, go. Night. 
Wow, uh, they are back and with a vengeance. This song does not disappoint. I've been waiting for new material from them ever since the debut album, and I'm just really stoked. This here, it just sounds like them, and they're a really refreshing band and, and sound in the symphonic metal genre with that influence of black metal. And sure, there's symphonic black metal, of course, but... It, it doesn't quite sound like this. You know, they, they really kind of have the emphasis on the symphonic metal side with just that, that touch of, of black metal in there, you know, as opposed to being kind of more black metal centric with some symphonic elements. You know, they really kind of ride the line there uh, without going too far into the black metal, but having a lot of the influence, of course, in sound and in, in structure of the song, but, but still having the symphonic metal roots and, you know, there's really not a band that I've heard that's quite like them, you know, exactly. And, you know, it's just really cool what they've done crafting that sound. And I just really dig it. You know, you get those really cool kind of heavy, uh, melodic and rhythmic uh, guitar riffs, you know, some of them very black metal centric, um, you know, especially when it's really kind of just... Uh, Speedy's not exactly the right word, but it is somewhat speedy, but it's just got that nice rhythmic riffage going on um, that I really enjoy. It really has a, a, a like a horse galloping kind of feel to it, and it helps drive the song forward and, and helps just really kind of create a cool beat that you can get into. And this song, you know, it's really cool um, that... There's moments where everything really comes together and hits hard. And again, you have the nice rhythmic, almost, you know, some spots it's more like a horse galloping or whatnot, but then other spots it's more of like just a really heavy, almost kind of marching sort of sound and rhythm to it. And it's just so sick when it all comes together and you hear the symphonic elements. And uh, another thing that I really love about this band is the symphonic elements and everything is really all-encompassing and really just sounds so grand and, and so large. It envelops you and their sound is so rich and full and deep that, it, again, it's almost like if you're like in a cathedral or something and you just hear this sound emanating from the walls all around you and it's just so cool. It's absorbing it's just really great the the way that they construct that and it really pulls you in and they're just masters of doing that and that's one thing that really first kind of caught my attention with this band it's really the the way the song starts out you really have that kind of rhythmic marching kind of vibe even like with the drums and then you get some harsh vocals and, and what the band has said that this album will have some mo more harsh vocals than the first album did but clearly, you know, there's still the nice, clean, symphonic style vocals. But the harsh vocals, I have to say, are really, really good here. Really good. It really has that kind of devilish, ominous kind of sound to it that, that again, pulls you into the mood. And, you know, the, the music and everything is so atmospheric and, and so dark. And it's just all consuming. That's the best way I can describe their sound in general, and, and the vocals suit that very well. The harsh vocals are really, really great and really pull you in. And then the nice, clean vocals sound almost like uh, the, the melody there. It almost sounds like an incantation, which, you know, the, the song, you know, it, it fits uh, with the, the title of the song. But, you know, you can almost just picture this ritual happening. And, and you know, it's almost like these mystic forces swirling all around you and everything gets dark and it's just really cool the way that they do that so i love the clean vocals i love that melody and the chorus and with the music the whole vibe is uh, really great um you know one thing which it's not so much a critique because i love the song but i feel like you know you have like the there's almost like two verses there verse one with the harsh vocals and then verse two with the clean vocals before you get into the chorus. That that second verse with the clean verses, I feel like that could have maybe been shortened just a touch 
because when you have the verses with the harsh vocals and then going into the verses with the the clean vocals it, it just stretches quite long and you know it maybe could the the clean vocal uh verse could have been maybe shortened by half i feel like and, and kind of get you into the the course a little bit quicker but you know as it stands it's still really solid and you know it, it i mean i just can't get over that the symphonic elements and just the sound in general I, the production quality is so great and the, the mood the whole uh guitar solo section was awesome and then towards the end of the guitar section when the music kind of really comes in hard and heavy it, it just sounds so cool I, I mean i can't overstate i mean they really know what they're doing as far as sound production and creating just such a full all-encompassing uh, sound and, and theme and it's so atmospheric and it really pulls you in and the vocals do a great job of contributing to that and they sound great uh, i love the drums you get some nice blast beats just really top notch, you know. I, I really can't. So I, I, I'm an Etvis fanboy. What can I say? And this does not disappoint. It's got me really excited uh, for the uh, album coming out May 16th. I'm really, really looking forward to it. Uh, man, this is just so cool. It almost gives me like goosebumps towards the end of the song when everything really comes in all together and it sounds so grand and, and dark and. It's neat. It's so cool. What can I say? I'm won over by this song. I was already won over from the debut album, but but now I my expectations are through the roof for this new album. I can't wait. But let me know, folks, in the comments down below, what you think of this song. Uh, did you listen to the debut album? Are you looking forward to the new album? Let's talk about it all in the comments, and I'll catch you all next time. Ranger, out.